Hello? Hello? The door was open, so I... broke my window. Are you stealing from me? How are you at yard work? Good. Certificates, newspaper clippings. Key to the city. A key? You were some kind of hero? <laughs> Marison Mantle. Who? The m and boys. Roger Marison, Mickey Mantle, 1961. They were locked in a race for the home run record and uh, one day they took time to sign this baseball. So they were famous? They were gods. Don't you follow baseball? We got ourselves a pickle. What's a pickle? A pickle, a rundown. The runner gets caught between the bases as the other infielders try to tag him out. Full of strategy, determination, stamina, one player trying to outwit the entire team. Some players would get into pickles on purpose to try to advance other runners. Oh look, look, he's going home. Ah, he's safe. See, it's like, it's like magic, misdirection, sleight of hand. The infielders were so busy with the one runner that they forgot about the guy at third. What do you mean you don't know? Get the old man out of the house. That's all you have to do. Then we can sell the ball and make thousands. It's kind of hard. What do you mean it's kind of hard? It's pretty easy. Yeah, get him out of the house. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, I think he got it. <laughs> yeah. we were 
Hebrew square. Where? You see, mister, you talk about baseball a lot, so I thought, why not play it? Name's Matt, kid. Let's go. if he caught it? Mac? It's my fault. I didn't think you'd go through with it, Charlie. I really didn't. How did you know? I'm retired, not stupid. You throw a fastball. Wait, I'm gonna put some spin on it. No, throw a fastball, it'll knock him dead. No, I'm gonna put some spin on it, and it's gonna be awesome. It'd be nice to think you played with the next day, Bruce, but it's highly unlikely. I've lived here a long time, and I've never had a ball sail into my yard, never mind smash a window. The only way you could have broken that window is to toss the ball. That's exactly what you did. You claim not to know about baseball, but uh, your glove tells a different story. It's perfectly oiled, perfectly worn. You not only play the game, but you play it well. Don't get me wrong. I was glad to have someone to talk to. You used my love for the game as leverage. Clever. On a par with people like you. Criminals. But Mac! I've heard it all before, kid. You better be. Yeah. Fine. Take it. See you around, Chucky. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Man, what a wimp. <laughs>
Keep it. It's yours. 